Shofatim, Judges 11. Now Yiftach, the Giladi, was a mighty man of valor, and he was the son of a harlot. And Gilad begat Eth Yiftach. And Gilad's woman bore him sons, and his woman's sons grew up. And they thrust out Eth Yiftach and said unto him, you shall not inherit in our father's house, for you are the son of a strange woman. Then Yiftach fled from his brethren and dwelt in the land of Tov. And there were gathered vain men to Yiftach and went out with him. And it came to pass in process of time that the children of Amon made war against Yashara'el. And it was so that when the children of Amon made war against Yashara'el, the elders of Gilad went to fetch Eth Yiftach out of the land of Tov. And they said unto Yiftach, Come and be our captain, that we may fight with the children of Amon. And Yiftach said unto the elders of Gilad, Did not ye hate me and expel me out of my father's house? And why are ye come unto me now? when ye are in distress. And the elders of Gilad said unto Yiftach, Therefore we turn again to you now, that you may go with us and fight against the children of Amon, and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilad. And Yiftach said unto the elders of Gilad, If ye bring me home again to fight against the children of Amon, and Yahuwah deliver them before me, shall I be your head? And the elders of Gilad said unto Yiftach, Yahuwah be witness between us, if we do not so, according to your words. Then Yiftach went with the elders of Gilad, and the people made him head and captain over them. And Yiftach uttered eth all his words before Yahuwah in Mitzpah. And Yiftach sent messengers unto the king of the children of Amon, saying, What have you done to me, that you are come against me to fight in my land? And the king of the children of Amon answered unto the messengers of Yiftach, Because Yashara'el took away at my land when they came up out of Mitzrayim, from Arnan even unto Yebach, and unto the Yardan, now therefore, restore those lands again, peaceably. And Yiftach sent messengers again unto the king of the children of Amon, and said unto him, Thus says Yiftach, Yashedael, took not away at the land of Moab, nor at the land of the children of Amon. But when Yashedael came up from Mitzrayim, and walked through the wilderness unto the Red Sea, and came to Kadesh. Then Yashara'el sent messengers unto the king of Edom, saying, Let me, I pray you, pass through your land. But the king of Edom would not hearken thereto, and in like manner they sent unto the king of Moab. But he would not consent, and Yashara'el abode in Kadesh. Then they went along through the wilderness and compassed eth the land of Edom and eth the land of Moab and came by the east side of the land of Moab and pitched on the other side of Arnan but came not within the border of Moab. For Arnan was the border of Moab. And Yashara'el sent messengers unto Sichon, king of the Amorim, the king of Chesban. And Yashara'el said unto him, Let us pass, we pray you, through your land into my place. But Sichan trusted not at Yashara'el to pass through his coast. But Sichan gathered at all his people together and pitched in Yahatz and fought against Yashara'el. And Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el delivered Eth Sichon and Eth all his people 
into the hand of Yashereel, and they smote them. So Yashereel possessed death all the land of the Emorim, the inhabitants of that country. And they possessed Eth all the coasts of the Emorim, from Arnan even unto Yebach, and from the wilderness even unto the Yardan. So now Yahuwah Elohai of Yashereel has dispossessed Eth the Emorim from before his people, Yashereel, and should you possess it? Will not eth you possess that which Kimash, your Elohim, gives you eth to possess? So, whomsoever Yahuwah Eloheinu shall drive out from before us, them will we possess. And now, are you anything better than Balach, the son of Sippor, king of Moab? Did he ever strive against Yashereel, or did he ever fight against them? while Yashereel dwelt in Chesban and her towns, and in Er Er and her towns, and in all the cities that be along by the coasts of Arnan three hundred years? Why therefore did ye not recover them within that time? Wherefore I have not sinned against you, but you do me wrong to war against me. Yahuwah, the judge, be judge this day between the children of Yashara'el and the children of Ammon. Howbeit the king of the children of Ammon hearkened not unto the words of Yiftach, which he sent him. Then the Ruach Yahuwah came upon Yiftach, and he passed over Eth Gilad, and Eth Manasheh, and passed over Eth Mitzpah of Gilad, and from Mitzpah of Gilad he passed over unto the children of Ammon. And Yiftach vowed a vow unto Yahuwah, and said, If you shall without fail deliver Eth the children of Ammon into my hands, then it shall be that whatsoever comes forth of the doors of my house to meet me, when I return in peace from the children of Ammon, shall surely be Yahuwah's, and I will offer it up for a burnt offering. So Yiftach passed over unto the children of Ammon to fight against them, and Yahuwah delivered them into his hands. And he smote them from Er Er, even till you come to Minith, even twenty cities, and unto Evel Karamim, with a very great slaughter. Thus the children of Ammon were subdued before the children of Yashara'el. And Yiftach came to Mitzpah, unto his house, and behold, his daughter came out to meet him with timbrels and with dances, and she was his Yachida. Besides her, he had neither son nor daughter. And it came to pass, when he saw her, that he rent at his clothes, and he said, Alas, my daughter, you have brought me very low. And Eth, you are one of them that trouble me, for I have opened my mouth unto El Yahuwah, and I cannot go back. And she said unto him, My father, if you have opened Eth your mouth unto El Yahuwah, do to me according to that which has proceeded out of your mouth. For as much as Yahuwah has taken vengeance for you of your enemies, even the children of Ammon. And she said unto her father, Let this thing be done for me. Let me alone two months, that I may go up and down upon the mountains and bewail my virginity, I and my fellows. And he said, Go, 
and he sent her away for two months, and she went with her companions and bewailed her virginity upon the mountains. And it came to pass at the end of two months that she returned unto her father, who did with her according to Eth his vow, which he had vowed. And she knew no man, and it was a custom in Yashadael that the daughters of Yashadael went yearly to lament the daughter of Yiftach, the Giladi, four days in a year.